Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are here with yes. Smash. With Big Smash, our special guest. How you doing? I'm all right, man. Shout out to y'all and y'all platform, man. I'm glad we finally did this. We were supposed to do it early in the week, so I'm glad we're doing it now. So better late than never. Yes. yes. Big Smash, tell the people where you're from. What you got going on? What you doing? I'm Big Smash. I am the host of Bet the House podcast. We uh, we real raw, funny, gritty. We gonna keep it real. We gonna keep it a hundred. Uh, we just a, a podcast trying to make it up in the world. That's it. That's all. Okay. That's what's up. So, baby mama and baby daddy, are we wrong for picking them? Are we to be blamed for picking them? I don't, I don't think it's fully our fault. Yeah. People don't really tell you they choose colors until, you know, after the baby comes. You know what I'm saying? You see the type of woman or the type of man that they really are once the child comes in their type of responsibility. That's when you see, you know, who that. Um, I, it, if a guy is a bum before the baby, he's nine times out gonna be a bum after the baby too. So <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You you don't you don't just become a bum when the baby gets here. I kind of think like. That's been in him all along, and he just had it. If if you didn't notice that he was a bum or he was an ain't shit nigga before the baby, get that nigga Academy Award or some shit. Cause that's well, he you good. some of them need the Academy Award because oh like, yeah, <laughs> their their representative is there. You know, everyone knows about that representative. They tell you all the sweet things, do everything you want, and then bam, that representative is gone. Cause a lot of dudes, and and I speak off experience. Mm -hmm. A lot of dudes feel like once the baby gets there, they set. You know what I'm saying? Especially oh. if, especially if they're dealing with a good woman who's mm -hmm. on her shit, mm -hmm. who ain't always got her hands out. Mm -hmm. To them, they feel like they hit the lottery. They feel like they hit the jackpot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, my first son, my first kid, I was 20. I thought, you know, yes, I was on my shit, but to have my first child with somebody that I thought was on their shit and we was on our shit together, mm -hmm. oh, I felt like I won the Super Bowl or something. So it, <laughs> it, 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 it's different ways of dealing with that. But then by the time I got to my second, third, and fourth kid's mother, I felt like, man, like I got to... I got to get better taste when I pick <laughs> when I pick my kids mothers like they're good they're, I'm not I'm not saying all of them are bad or anything but I've had my moments with them that made me feel like yo this shit ain't it but they were good women they're good mothers shit like that but it's just me I if I could if I could go back and do it over and I love my kids I don't regret my kids but it's like I would have made better decisions and, and made sure that I was in the position to take care of them. I'm one of them dudes. When I had my first kid, I didn't know shit about being no daddy. I wanted to run the streets. Yeah. I wanted to have fun. I wanted to kick it. Mm -hmm. But And I felt like as long as I had her at the house, I was good. But then once we split up and my son was coming with me on the weekends, that's a different ball game. It was yeah. different. So, you know, I don't never take nothing that a mother does for granted because I saw firsthand how hard that shit was when you don't have no backup. Uh, his mother's not coming through the door to save you. This this is you. You know, it's you and him. So, but I start to think like a lot of people feel like they got to complain about their baby mama, their baby daddy. But I always tell people like, you pick them. Hey. You decided to bust a nut inside of them you decided that now i know people don't just wake up and just decide to turn crazy or decide to turn ain't shit there's sometimes the signs be right there in our face mm -hmm. and we'll ignore you know, you, not all the time 
You're right. Not all the time, because sometimes, like people say, they people do change. They get the baby, and they feel, all right, I got the baby. I can relax now. I can kick my feet up now. A lot of people feel like that. I felt like that. So, what do you mean by kick your feet up, relax? Like, like, like if you want to hold on to the woman, you know how a lot of people say, "Do it for the kids." We gonna work this out for the kids. Okay. We gonna, we gonna keep the family together for the kids. Yeah. It it became that, and for me, that's how it was. I got three kids by one lady, mm-hmm. and for me, it was like, yo. I don't want to keep doing this. We ain't going to keep going in and out. But then up here come another baby. Yeah. So it's like, I want to leave. But I was like, I ain't going to leave you hanging. You know, I I, I got to own up to my responsibility. I made this kid. Let's try this but out. Let's you still do that over there. Yeah. 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 But, you know, sometimes kids make you want, you look at a kid face and you want to try, you want to give, want to give them this, this men and women. Right. You want to give. Right. <laughs> no, I feel you. I feel you 120. She's not shaking her head loud. This I, nigga's I, I know a lot of people <laughs> for kids, and it's been 50 50. Some of it, you know, some of those relationships have worked. And they've gotten better, you know what I'm saying? Because of the kids, they worked, they did what they needed to do. And then 50% of the relationships did horribly. Like they should have stopped when the baby, they should have stopped working and broke up when the baby was an infant, you know? So it can go, you know, either way. So I I understand that. I kept having kids with her does not understand that yeah it was like when i wanted to step out we kept having kids I said, another you kid. and that you don't agree with it i mean hey baby work over there don't work over here that's all i can say <laughs> but i'm, I'm, I'm saying it. It. i've seen it work you know so you ain't you ain't you ain't coming back huh is what you saying you done you done you i ain't gonna i'm not coming back i don't care we got 18 kids together me and my 18 is out of hell no, I'm shit out with you, sir. No. Well, why it take you 18 times to know that? That's my. No, I'm not saying that. That's, it will, oh, that's what I'm saying. You know, people have five or six kids with by the same person. Like some shit. Right. You well, know you saying? know what? I do know a guy that has five kids, and he has three different baby mamas, and he has said a lot of times he, you know, he loves his kids. Like he could have had all his kids by one woman. He would. Yeah. Had- yeah, I, I felt that way too. Yeah. But it's like I see people complaining and I see it more with women about how they baby daddy ain't shit, but you got like four kids with him. So was he was, was he not right. shit the first, the second, the third, or the fourth time? Like and what does that say about you? <laughs> Hello. Hello. You keep on having kids by a no good ass nigga. You got yeah, a lot of times shit, people feel like they rather just keep having kids with the same ain't shit motherfucker to avoid having more kids by more ain't shit motherfucker. So um, at least you know this nigga ain't shit, but he consistently ain't shit. But you no, don't know these other motherfuckers out here. It's not fair to the kids. You know right. that nigga ain't shit. You right. know he's his poor ass daddy to. Baby number one and number two. You're going to have baby number three, four, five. You know he pissed poor. Yeah. That's the kids. Yeah. This, uh, what is it? In service, disservice, whatever it's called. And a lot of times, I'm going to tell you, a lot of times uh, baby daddies and baby mothers don't become bitter until the relationship is over and that person, the other person has moved on. That's then true. you see the bitterness and the pettiness. Like That's I'm true. seeing it. I'm seeing it right now. Like, my youngest, two, my youngest two sons, uh, mother is just becoming extremely petty with me right now. And it's like, yo, you had your opportunity. It didn't work. So now you want to, you have these parents who like to drag their kids in the middle. I like, yo, know, you can't see your kids. You can't talk to your kids. You can't be around your kids. So, and you then they'll get them. my turn. Yeah, and then they'll get on social media and paint this picture that my baby daddy ain't shit. But tell them why he's not shit to you. Right, because I you know. allow him to be part yeah. of Yeah, 
Yeah. 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 They're, not, they're gonna have a slew of friends that come and back her up. Oh, my girl be on her shit. Them kids gonna be good with or without the nigga. Blah. blah. Right. In reality, no, they ain't. No, they not. No, no they not. And then they get they get in new relationships and they they paint this picture to the new to the new person. You know, I feel like I feel like this day and age, if you don't want to be a father with all this technology with Zoom and everything else, like if you don't want to be a father, you just don't want to be a father. Like I gotta be real. COVID, COVID was the best thing that happened to me about COVID was the kids had in school learning. The reason being is. Uh, five of my kids live in Chicago. So with COVID, I was able to come get them more and spend time with them more. And they were still able to do schoolwork because they didn't have to be in school. So that was the best part about COVID to me was I got to see them now. You know, they tore up my house, even though they bad as hell and they fight each other, they argue. I wouldn't trade it for the world because these are the type of experiences you want to have. So it's like, yeah, we, 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 in hindsight, we wish that we, we had better choices and better taste in who we decided to lay down and make a baby with. But I don't regret it. I don't regret my kids. If I can go, like I said, if I can go back and do it all over again, I would do, do it differently. Mm -hmm. Like I, I have, uh, seven kids by myself four baby mothers if i could go back and have seven kids by one person or two people two people then yeah i'd have been good and then um you gotta understand too like a lot of people go back and and deal with their baby mamas and their baby daddies because if you have a whole lot of kids the dating pool is not super the options ain't there for a woman who got five kids or a man who got five kids. It ain't really you right. Yeah, it ain't really uh you ain't gonna get that that ultimate rich motherfucker. You gonna you gonna you gonna have to take what's coming a lot of times and a lot of people do. So they like, you know what? The pool ain't shit. This nigga ain't shit, but I can deal with it. Or I, yeah, I, I, I can mind. deal with him until something else hit better. Yeah, but like you said, if you got, you know, you got a high number of kids, the 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 pickings go to getting slim, real slim. Yeah, and the number of the kids and how old the kids are. Absolutely, how, Absolutely. how old they are, and how Absolutely. old you are. Well, that all plays a role. I had uh, I had seven kids. I met the woman who eventually ended up becoming my wife, and you know what? People changed on me when I told them that it would get to the point where that wouldn't sometimes I wouldn't even bring up. I had kids until I knew that where this shit was going. But right. then sometimes I laid off. Look, I got seven kids. I got a good job. I got my own. They don't need you. They don't. They ain't looking. I ain't looking for a kid's mother. They mothers take care of them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it ain't going to interfere with what I'm trying to do now. But mm -hmm. I come with seven kids. And when I met her, she knew all that and still stayed. So that's when I knew at the beginning, like, yo, yo, that's her. I'm, I'm going to get her. So it was like a lot of people aren't that lucky. They aren't that lucky because I'm telling you, I've had doors slammed in my face when I said how many kids I had. <laughs> well, I've had people go out on a date with me, tell me, you know, I tell them I got seven kids, they'll play it off like it's all good, and then I never hear from them again. Those. <laughs> it's like, I don't I don't get mad about it. I mean, I'm in that position, but I was the opposite. Yeah. Back in my days, I was the opposite. If you had three or four kids, I wanted you. I wanted you. Okay. The reason I wanted you is because, especially if you had more than one baby daddy, I wanted you for the simple fact, you got something stirring over there that's got every dude that you getting with knocking you up. So I want to see what's to that. Oh, Let me know how that is. And oh then, and then when I had two dudes have an actual shootout over this woman, like they shooting at each other. You gotta have it. Oh, you you need to taste that. I'm gone. No, I'm gone. I'm cool. <laughs> 
Man, I'm good. No, I draw the line at shootouts. Now, if y'all out there fighting, cool. But once you start, if if she got some shit that's got niggas shooting at each other, you don't want it no more. I'm good. I'm cool. I'm out, lady. It was fun. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm gone. I don't want no parts of that. So, I think. Look, I feel like this. Stop complaining. Stop complaining. That's for men and women. Stop complaining. Because at the end of the day, look, we feel for you, but what can we do? We didn't lay down without a condom and, 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 and tell this woman we want her to have our baby. We didn't, we didn't tell her. We didn't do that. So, you know, you feel you feel, you feel for it because I've been in that situation where I've spit them words out. Yeah, I want you to have my baby. And then it actually happens. And now you have become the baby mama from hell. And I want to run far, far away. So, yeah, I've experienced that. But, of course, I love my kids. They ought to, uh, I tell my oldest. My oldest just turned 14. I tell him, yo, you saved my life. The reason, reason I tell him you saved my life because I was out here in these streets. I was doing dumb shit. I was doing a lot of shit that was either going to get me in jail or get me killed. And once I had him, I got up out them street. And, you know, me and her didn't work out. It didn't work out. But I didn't take it out on him. She didn't take it out on him. We just didn't work out. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know how to do that. When baby mamas and baby dads, they, they have yeah. to go back and forth with the the, the yep. name calling, the fighting, the and the yep. oh, oh, I was one of them. I, I was the, I was that baby daddy that if you tried to move on to get with somebody new, I'm showing up at your house. You were that. You I was that baby daddy. Like every time she tried to move on, I actually got locked up for 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 beating the dude ass that she was dealing with. After we broke up, she got with somebody else, and me and him fought. We fought, we fought damn near every time we saw each other for four years. You watch a uh, family guy? Yeah. So y'all was like, you was like Peter Griffin at home. Facts. Facts. <laughs> we was fighting like that. He put a restraining order on me. I ain't giving no fuck about no restraining order. I'm going to beat your ass. But the problem Why? with that was because... Yeah, I, I, y'all was done. I still wanted, I still wanted that, and I didn't want him around. But here's the trick: she ended up getting pregnant by him. Ooh. When she got pregnant by him, I realized you ain't going nowhere. But did it hurt? Now I gotta deal. I you you ain't going nowhere. I gotta deal with this shit. But here's the thing: she left me to get with him. Oh. After the baby came, and she found out he wasn't shit. He left him to get with the next nigga. Oh. So I was like, okay, we fighting this shit. We ain't, we neither one of us got it. So what the fuck is the fighting for? Me and him became cool after that. Oh, but wow. it was like, what are we what are we fighting for? Because she, so she after did, all that, y'all became cool. Yeah, we became cool because I'm one of them people you don't have or I don't have her. So what the fuck is we really fighting on? Yeah. That was the only reason you why me and him didn't like each other. It wasn't yeah. like it wasn't like he 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 did something to me or I did something to him. It was just the fact, hey, I gotta see you when I come pick up my son. I gotta see you raising my son or help her deal with him, you not raising my son. Cause I'm it's, there. Yeah, like, once you had that other baby, it was like, okay, he ain't going nowhere, he gonna be around. Yeah. So what the fuck are we fighting for? Yeah. And when she did him the same way that she did me. I kind of felt relieved in the inside, like the same way that you got is the same way you're gonna lose her. Yeah. That's how I feel. So mm-hmm. me and her, we are in 14 years. I think I think we have learned that we make great parents. We just made a bad couple. And that's what a lot of couples don't, a lot of kids, baby mamas and baby daddies don't don't understand. Hey. You guys probably sucked as a couple. Mm-hmm. Don't suck as parents. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry about what that woman doing. Don't worry about what that man doing. But you know what? That's the problem. It never yeah, works out like that. That's the problem. Right. They can't. They can't. They can't get past the breakup. They still not past that to get to. Yeah. The, okay. That's yeah. Good parents. Yeah. And I be trying to tell people like, um, 
you know, because I know people be saying the baby daddy can always go back and fuck the baby mama. That's not always the case. Listen, you know I accept say that about I heard him over say that to his homeboys all the time. Like not all baby daddies do feel like at any given moment they can go back and yeah, fuck yeah. every one of their baby mamas. Once yeah. they once they have them, they can always have them. Yeah, me yeah. and I, I believe that all men feel like that. If they have a baby mama, they feel like at any given moment they can go and fuck her. I do believe that. Yep. But yeah. see, me, I'm different. I don't think like that. Um now I always dealt with women that like women. That was my favorite. That was my favorite uh situation. If I mm -hmm. if I deal with you. You got to like women because that makes it more fun for me. I don't have to cheat. I don't have to do anything. We can get them together. So two of my kids' mothers are, are in relationships with women right now. Like they are full with women. So I don't think, I don't think, I don't think about getting back with any of them. Mm. But I'm one of them dudes. If I'm done with you, I'm done with you. <laughs> I'm done with you. Yeah. I don't want to go back because going back brings more kids and more kids brings more. So, yeah, I was one of them dudes after the second one, after the three kids. I was like, yeah, I'm not. If I'm done with you, I'm done with you. Yeah. Ain't no coming back. Ain't no going back. Ain't no working it out. No, nah, I don't want to work it out. I'm cool. Mm -hmm. And a lot. I was one of the fortunate ones. I was lucky to know, hey, this don't work. It don't work as a couple. Let's just focus on being good parents. Let's do what we got to do. Uh, my kids need some. Let me know. A lot of dudes will use that to get back with the baby mama. Almost definitely. Doing shit unless you finna give me some. Right. Oh, right. what the fuck? What the fuck, bro? <laughs> like, your kids need diapers and milk and shit. You worry about damn. getting your dick wet. You yep, know what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't one of them dudes. Like, I never, Don't I you never. Stop by and see the baby. Baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you have women like, like that. that too. You have women like I, that you too. Know, women, That's women who, women want that kind of shit really pissed me off. Cause it's like, like you say, bro, you don't see this, you don't see this nigga. Don't care about nothing. And but as long as you gonna bust it open, he gonna come over here, and she gonna bust it open because she still care about her baby daddy. Majority of them still love their baby daddy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They they get on social media and stun in front, but you know yeah, what's they up. Love their baby daddy. They still have that that connection to their baby daddy. Because I seen one thing that the girl was like, "I know you moved on. I just want you not to have sex uh, while my kids are over there with you with your new little girlfriend." And then he oh, was like, he was like, yo, well, you had sex with your guy, right? And the kids be there. And she was like, don't worry about all that because I have them all the time. So if you can't agree to my rules, you can't girl, get the fuck kids. you. Because what? <laughs> like, girl, fuck you. What? Girl, okay. Right. That's, that's the petty shit. So, like, you going to tell this man that he can't do what he want to do with his woman, but you can do what you want to do with this dude. No, nah, it don't work like that. I think that's another problem. That's another reason why all this comes comes like yeah. that because too many they, fucking rules. They try to yeah. control or each other's I houses. That hoe around my kids. Yeah. yeah. I, it, it, man. You cannot control what's going man. on with And I ain't even going to be like that. I was, I was like that when my kids were younger. And I was like that because when I tell you the bitch couldn't stand me, she couldn't stand and me. Now. She might can't that's, stand me a little bit to this day. That's a whole. That's a different but subject. No, my my whole thing is right. I don't want my chair around her. Right, because you don't know what she might do. Hell, she don't like me. Yep, it ain't her kids. She can do you something. right. And I mean, the way that she felt about me, my kids can't be around her until they get to an age where they can say, "Hey, mom, blase, squase," right, and right. I'm on my way. She she um, can. Yeah, because but but you know what? My biggest thing with that was I be waiting on the nigga to tell my kids. Yeah, <laughs> and go tell your punk ass dead. Oh. oh, you ain't gotta worry and about it. You worry about it, Chief. I, Here I come. I, I, Here I, come. <laughs> I be waiting. I be waiting like I like, 
Jewel would say something about sure. Go get that nigga. Yeah. Now the kids, <laughs> let me tell you, kids know when they being treated good. Yeah. You know, they know yeah. when they being treated good. I I was a nosy motherfucker. Hey, yeah. your mama have any guys over there? I got some candy for you. Your mama and them be having guys over there. With you the like candy. candy, right? Huh? No, you didn't. Tell me who be over there. I need you to let me know, all right? So, no, but I'm one of them dudes, like, I care about my kids' happiness. So, mm-hmm. I hear nothing but good reports from the people that they moms deal with. And I'm not saying they moms are a bad judge of character, but mm-hmm. sometimes that's another problem. We we go off, you know, when you hear story. I'm very protective about my kids. Mm-hmm. The reason being is you hear stories all the time about how boyfriends be beating up on the kids yep. or boyfriends be sneaking in the bed with the kids and all type of shit. So, yes, I'm on alert because I am a black man in America and I know how shit works with mamas and they new boyfriends and shit. It ain't that I miss you. It ain't that I care about what you're doing. It's that, hey, I want to know that my kids are good because when when I get my kids, when they come to me, you know they're good because right. you get my wife. You know what's going on. They love my wife. All my kids' mothers love my wife. And I think the reason being is because she's such a, a nurturer. She knows what it's like to have kids and raise kids. So they didn't feel threatened or they being replaced or anything like that because guys, we think differently. Yes. Yeah. You nigga around, oh, you trying to replace us. Yep. You know, <laughs> oh God, I ain't even there no more, so it's like yeah I've been there uh, uh, it'll be like that all the way yeah I'm one of them people where yes I feel like you trying to replace me but I always tell them like look I don't want her we not gonna be together long as you respect her I could care less Right. I got no beef with you. You know, I ain't got no beef with her. But again, you have to respect her. You have to respect my kids. This is their house. You're not going to put them in a box and make them feel unsafe or they got to step on eggshells or something like that. I never even asked my kids. So, yeah, how, how, how this person treating you, all this and all that, because they know that, uh, I, I, they don't, it's not mandatory, but I like to meet the people that they are dealing with. It's mm-hmm. not a mandatory thing, but out of respect, they always introduce me to them. Hey, this person is serious. It's getting serious. Shit like that. I just wanted y'all to meet out of respect. It ain't mm-hmm. that it's a, it's a force, but you know what I'm saying? I had one dude who introduced me, introduced himself to me on his own. And I thought, yo, that's that's commendable. We that's, need that's, more. Yeah. We that's, need more dudes out here like that. He didn't wait for her to introduce. He 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 reached out to me like, "Hey, look, I like her. You know, I like your kids. I ain't really been around them yet, out of respect for you, because I haven't really met you. But mm-hmm. in passing, I've been around them. They mm-hmm. dope. I wanted to meet you, experience, and and that's how I am too. Mm-hmm. But." I'm that way if you're doing something for your kids. If you are doing what the fuck you're supposed to do. If you out here being a deadbeat, I don't why why would I want to meet you? I don't want to meet you. Yeah. Go meet your kids. Shit. <laughs> Go meet them. God damn it. Don't, <laughs> don't try to meet me because I'm I'm one of them people. I get mad just thinking about it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think a lot of times we get mad at who we pick because they do become a different person but the signs have always been there you ain't finna tell me they just had a baby and then all of a sudden they became somebody different no that nigga wasn't working before the baby and he ain't working after the baby so what the fuck did you think was gonna change me when i had my kid i had to go start working like yo i didn't wait until nine months to start working when i found out she was pregnant i went and got me a job because mm-hmm. I knew kids are expensive. Mm-hmm. And I didn't want to be one of them daddies that didn't have shit. Now, granted, I ran the street still, but I didn't do it as much. Mm-hmm. And I think, 
again, my, my kids saved my life. All my kids saved my life in different ways. So it's like, I'm not the baby daddy that's going to trip. I'm not. I don't, I don't really care, you know, about your, your love life, any of that. If you want to talk to me about it, that's cool. But I'm not here as long as you okay. And as long as my kids, okay, I don't really care. And, um, I'm fortunate. I was fortunate enough to be like that. I don't know how y'all situations were, but you know, I'm the baby daddy that'll walk away. Like, okay, you don't want me no more. Cool. I'll be to pick my kids up on Tuesday. Well, you was just the baby daddy that was fighting the other day until he had a baby. That was growth. That was growth. So, so, that, was, that, was, that was the first kid. By okay. the second kid, I was already mastered in, hey, you ain't going to last long. You, you'll be, you'll be, it'll be, I'll be me. It got to the point I stopped learning niggas' names. Not saying that this is what they did, but after me, you you have a certain standard to, to top. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I did what the fuck I was supposed to do. So you can't come half-ass. Because mm -hmm. I set that standard already. I went out, I busted my ass, and I made sure everything was good. So if you're not coming how I was coming, you typically don't last that long. So it got to the point where I stopped even really learning motherfuckers' names. Because I'm like, yeah, you ain't going to last this long, brother. And, you know, some people wasn't built for that. I had a lot of people who was intimidated by me. Like, why are you intimidated by me, bro? I don't want her. Like, I've, I've heard. That. No, I've heard that before. Yeah, Maybe niggas walk around too much with their chest all puffed out and, yeah, and they it. mean mugging and shit. Why are you doing that? I don't want her. That's 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 you. I don't want her. Like, and not in a disrespectful way, but it's just I don't want her. We are past that. We are friends. Me and that's, it, that's all. It's go back to the baby mama. So. As another man, he's probably thinking, oh, he think he can come back and smash my girl, big smash, can smash my girl anytime he wants and see, to. And see, that's the thing. That's the thing, too. That's what they think. I tell guys this. If a woman has three kids, one baby daddy, you don't want to deal with her. Whoa, no whoa, 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 whoa. Why not? No, no disrespect. Why not? I would rather deal with the kid with the baby mama with three kids and three baby daddies. The reason being is because that man with one key that one baby daddy with three kids, he can always go get his family back because it's an attachment there. Now that now that man who got that woman who has three baby daddies and three kids, that shows me she's not one for the long game. She's not. You know, them niggas don't have that attachment to her, that access to her. But that one dude, especially if the kids are, look, especially if the kids are seven, five, three, that's letting me know, yo, they having kids every two years. That means he wanted his family back every other year and he was successful. You know what I'm saying? He was successful with it. So it was like, I don't, I don't. If you like a woman who got one baby daddy, you have to always deal, especially that nigga on his job. If he's on his job, the minute he hollers and says, hey, baby, it's time for you to come home. You think that woman and 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 she got history and y'all and you just been here, you just got here and he finally ready to get his shit together. Oh, he going you back. Are, yeah. You, you right. He definitely going back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and now, if, if they I, got kids that's nine, three uh two or some shit there's a big gap between them mm -hmm. then it's like she ain't really invested in he ain't either so you ain't got to worry about it too much but but what if she has her kids and all her kids is close in age range again that let me know that every time she ready to move on to her, yeah she's still especially when somebody be like oh i've been i was with him 10 years off and on yeah, you was with him 10 years off and on. And how do y'all kids? Seven, five, and three? Okay. <laughs> yeah, off and on mean he was around. He wanted to do him. When you moved on, he uh -huh. wanted to come back. So 
and 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 women 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 are are God's most most precious preachers, man. I learned that a long time ago because I have to deal yeah. with that now. Like buddy ass, uh, she done moved on. She done got married, remarried, and everything, bro. Like it's a wrap. You can you can go ahead on and let that go. If I if we had just been in a relationship, then. I would have probably had my guards up like, yo, we only together. This dude can come back. But I feel like now that I'm married, like there's really nothing he can do to because I feel like he's accomplished everything. But see, the problem, the only thing that he didn't accomplish that I plan on keeping her. I ain't letting her go. So it's like that's where you screwed up at. So now it's like he hoped. And pray that I drop the ball, that I fuck up. And I was in that position too. Like, you know, we got to spend the block every few months. Hey, I just, I'm just checking on you, just making sure you all right. You need anything, you need something. Or I was one of them guys. I get on Facebook and see a status. Oh damn, he y'all y'all into it again? You need somebody to talk to? You good? Everything good? Yeah, I, I was one of them dudes. But I learned like. Come on, man. You you can't you can't waste these women lives like that. They they of course they gonna wait on you if they truly love you and they truly invested on you. They gonna do them. But the minute you feel like they feel like you're ready to come home and you sincere, all that other shit stops. But one day she gonna get tired, you know. And then now, nah, man, my baby mama ain't shit. She ain't gonna let me see my kids. Da 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 da. Nigga, you ain't trying to see your kids until you seen that other nigga over there. You know what I'm saying? That's the only time you're ready to see them kids. And I ain't saying you don't love your kids, but you really just want to have access to her. You can't have access. You can't call yeah. her. Y'all remember how Jody did in Baby Boy? Mm-hmm. I hated that one baby mama. He went to the other baby mama house. She was cooking them eggs, rolling yeah. blunts, gave them some and everything. She got fed up with that shit. Like, yep. I let you know when I want some dick, and then you can find a way over here. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Baby mamas get tired because after a while they feel like they done put all their work in, and you ain't done shit. And then now finally, it's a man out there that wants to love them and wants to give them everything. And he, your stupid ass, come with baby. I'm sorry. I'm a change. It ain't gonna happen no more. I'm ready to be the family man you want me to be. I know because I've been that dude. You know what I'm saying? But it's life. It's life. All I can say is complaining about them to us on social media. We gonna act like we care the whole time we laugh and especially when you go back nine months later, yep. you got another baby by the name. Yep. He know. always in jail. He always doing dumb shit. He always lying. He always cheating. And you know my favorite one? He know where home at. The fuck you mean he know where home at? <laughs> Wherever he laid his head. That's what, he, that's what I was going to say. Where he that's laid his head. That's where his heart at. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The tax time. The tax time. The tax time. I know why Tina made that song. What the tax <laughs> time fathers. I love them. The tax time fathers be, be the most outrageous shit in the world. Nigga, you ain't been around all year long. They just trying to flip that money. Exactly. <laughs> December, January, February, y'all the most happiest family in the world. And it's like... Come April, May, June, y'all got ghosts. Yeah, y'all arguing, fighting, y'all beating each other ass on social media, mm-hmm. all that shit. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, y'all, he served his purpose. He served his purpose. <laughs> he was the best father of the year for them three months. And now it's like... All right, cool. All the money gone. I'm out. I will see you next year. Yeah. I, I'm, and all yeah. That you ain't lying. So if y'all, 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 y'all got kids. Yeah. I do. I have one. Mm-hmm. I one. am married. To how did that? Are y'all still cool? Do y'all? You and the baby daddy? Do y'all still? Like yeah, honestly, still- we are better now. I ain't gonna say we weren't bad together. Like we weren't bad together at all. Um, close to the end, you know, shit got a little rocky or whatever. And then I, I didn't really like stop fucking. So if he wanted to come back and and, and get and slide in, he couldn't slide in. Is what you're saying? He been trying to slide and slide, slide in. in. 
<laughs> he can't slide in? No. He didn't slide in yet and leave me alone. You know? <laughs> Facts. No. Facts. I think that's what it is too. Niggas, niggas, we be feeling like sometimes our baby mamas ain't shit because we can't get it no more. You know what I'm saying? You can't take and, advantage. You can Yeah. You know, that's yeah. it. Patty. I think I he think was I was definitely the nigga that was hiding in the bushes when we broke up. Yep. Like he was yep. literally yep. that nigga, like serious shit. That nigga told me one day, he was like, You know, I can see you from the sky. What? <laughs> that nigga crazy. That's the crazy. That's the crazy baby daddy. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Showing up, showing up at your job, showing up at the new nigga job, showing up, watching the new nigga. Yeah, that nigga been that nigga been at your house all night. He just left this morning. What the <laughs> fuck? How the fuck you know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah I've been watching. Your yeah, baby daddy, he, he was young. He ain't crazy. Random. Do that. That you give some good. Yeah, that too. That will definitely make a nigga turn crazy. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? That would definitely make a nigga turn crazy. And I be trying to tell people like, look. Wash the house. Super. Yeah, yeah. When you show up at my job and shit, I had a baby daddy show up at my job. And he stared me down for the longest. And I couldn't <laughs> figure out why the fuck he was staring me down. And then he was like, hey, you such and such new guy? I was like, yeah. He's like, oh, well, you know, me and her, we went through some things, but I'm trying to get my family back and work it out. Oh. Bro, I ain't got nothing to do with that. Like, do you be like, man, I ain't finna, I ain't finna bother her no more. Cause I don't want no, to not even that. Like, I, no, nigga, the, them fruit snacks is mine now, nigga. Them kids <laughs> is mine now, god damn it. Shit. That's, that's the shit I'm on, god damn it. I'm eating them fruit snacks right now. My like boy. So. <laughs> my job, maybe I need to leave this girl alone. No. The only time I leave a dude alone is when he approach me if he got on black Air Force Ones. Oh, that's, that's the only time. If he walking around in some black Air Force Ones, oh yeah, I, you're crazy. I'm cool. I don't want to fuck with you, bro. Because a nigga that's walking around in black Air Force Ones, he is crazy. He no. is crazy and he ain't got nothing to lose. So right. yeah, I'm cool, bro. You can have him. So now you've been looking to see if a nigga got on some black That's what Air I'm Force saying, One. I didn't even know they sold black Air Force One. I'm gonna be looking at everybody's feet now. I ain't got shit. Hey, especially in the creases, if they all creased up. Yeah, that oh, motherfucker yeah, ready to risk it all. Right, yeah. He ready to risk it all. He don't get no if fuck. If they crease up, he is. You don't fuck well, with I've been telling her, like, yeah, I ain't got nothing but a toothbrush and some drawers over there anyway, bro. It's all good. I'm out. <laughs> Clean drip. You can toss that shit out. Right. Throw it away. <laughs> I ain't even worried about it no more. But I think, you know, but then you actually have the cool baby daddy. The one that's cool, that's that's relaxed, that don't interfere in shit. He come pick his kids up without being asked. Uh, you need some money or some shit. He gonna send it. I'm that baby daddy. Like, my kid, yeah, I need to get some clothes for the kids. In less than two minutes, your cash app is chiming. Whatever I got in there, whatever the kids need, the kids will even call me. It's got to the point where they will call me instead of their mama. Mm -hmm. Dad, I need money for football. Okay. I send it to your mama. No problem. And I think that's that's the kind of comfort zone you want to have. You want to be able to get your kids when you want to. Almost you don't want to have to stand in front of no judge and, them and they tell you how much support you got to pay. Or when you gotta see your kids, you wanna you handle know, your shit. My mom yeah. and my dad were and, and I always keep receipts of that shit, just in case yeah, you, you do have, decide oh, you do decide to go to the courts and get on some bullshit. Your Honor, <laughs> I've been sending cash apps with the reason why I sent these cash apps all this time. So yeah. it's scary when when you know a lot is is a lot of people get intimidated by that. Like, damn boy, you you do your shit. And you don't gotta be told. You ain't gotta be asked. You do your shit, yeah. Because that's how my mama was. Those are those are my responsibility. I created them. They that's didn't have to be here. I created them. Those men are far in between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 When I when I met my wife, I didn't. She didn't ask me to help me take care of her kids. She didn't ask me to take care. Of her. She came in that. But at the same time, as a man, I could not sit back and just deal with her. You know what I'm saying? She came with kids. Yeah, absolutely. You know, she came yeah. with she came as right. a package deal, and she tells me that a lot. 
you know, and I be trying to tell her, like, look, I know you came with a package, and that's the reason why, you know, call me UPS. I'm here to pick that package up and make sure it's all good. Like, Do you and your wife have kids together? No, not yet. Not yet. We still young. We still young, man. (laughs) You know, I want, honestly, I want three more. You know, oh. so, um, but not back to back. I want them spread it out because the way I see it is, by the time my turn, my son turns twenty, I only be forty years old. Okay. You know what I'm saying? My oldest son, I only be forty years old. I'm still, I'm still young out here. So, okay. you know what I'm saying that's why I'm glad I had my kids early. That's another thing. Like we have to, we have to stop using these kids as pawns. Mm, They're not I- pawns. Mm-hmm. They are human beings who have a heart. Mm-hmm. You know, I hate when kids get thrown in the middle. Yo, daddy ain't Me shit. Yeah. yeah. Like, why are you down talking? I've never down talked my kids to they to they to they my their mother to them. Yeah. And vice versa. You don't never want to put that image. Yo, daddy ain't shit. He don't give a fuck about you. He ain't gonna come pick you up. No. I ain't never, I ain't never did that, man. Your mama, right, your mama. Put that in their head, cause they're gonna start believing it, and they're gonna start yep. saying something that ain't even really there because yep. you don't put that in their mind. So mm-hmm. yeah, you right. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, I believe in. If I got beef with you, it stays between me and you. We don't have to go talk to the kids about each other. Right. Yeah, it's supposed to stay between the two of you. Don't Adults. say mm-hmm. to them kids about it. Adults. Facts. Issues need to stay within the adults. Don't let it spill over to the kids because that just yep. issues. Because then the kids get that mind in their head. My daddy ain't shit. shit. Yeah. My daddy don't give a fuck about me. Uh, yeah. you know, my dad, my dad was around, but my mama raised us, right. and I think I was more susceptible to my mom raising us than my dad because my dad ruled with an iron fist. Mm. So it wasn't that I I disliked my dad. I just knew that. When I got up, grew up, and I had kids, I wasn't going to be the kind of father he was. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying he was a bad father. I'm just saying that the way his parenting was is something that I couldn't do. And that's another reason I think why, you know, yes, I rule with an iron fist, but I do it differently. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't beat on my kids or get them for everything that they do. They get a lot of warnings out of me before mm-hmm. we go to the belt. Or anything like that and that's that's what i be trying to tell people too like um relationships don't have don't have to end you know your job is not done just because the relationship ended you have a lot of dudes that feel like because i'm not with the woman then i don't have to do shit for the kid no no yeah, they do what i don't the know where they get their mindset from but they do you still gotta take care of them the woman has to take care of him. She don't have a fucking choice. Yep. She don't have a choice, period. And that's why I if give she credit. Take care of him, she a piss poor ass mama. Yep. You know I I'm give saying? credit to the women who, because they, they can't make excuses. They can't say, you know, I don't feel like going into work today. Mm. Or, you know, I don't feel like cooking or yeah. shit like that. Yeah, they can't say that. Guys, we can. We can say that. Yeah. Because we we but see me I've I've I'm gonna tell you I'm one of them parents where I will give you the benefit of the doubt and then after a while I now you keep doing this like my daughter my daughter is the only girl out of nine children wow and for a while my daughter would would get whatever she wanted because she was the only girl mm-hmm. she would even go as far as telling people you could tell me no but my daddy gonna tell me yes. And that sounds right. That, yeah, yeah, that and it mean, got to the point where I, mean, I started, <laughs> I started to see how she was acting with my own eyes, and I was like, "Yo, I gotta break this cycle because this is the life." And you know, they always say, "Yo, your dad is supposed to be your your first, your first person to show you how a man is supposed to treat a woman." But yeah. that means I'm always gonna give you your way. Right. So now my daughter, right. she right. rolls her eyes and she gets smart and she huffs and puffs and all this. And it's just like, yeah, this is my fault, but I'm going to fix it. Right. You know, yeah. And that's what it is, too, with a lot of baby mamas and baby daddies. Y'all just got to learn how to fix it and find common ground. Y'all don't have to 
you know, if if humping works for you, then it works for you. If 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 you as long as you on your shit, if y'all right. it's okay, it's okay to still mess around if y'all ain't together. That's okay. You but, gotta be grown about it. Everybody yeah, don't let that fight. be the basis. Yeah. Right. But, like if you come get your kids or if I drop kids off, it shouldn't be no beef. Like me and my kids dad, like we can literally be out there laughing, joking, having a good old time. You know, I drop the kids off or the kids go over there. They older now, so they go over there. But if we all ride somewhere, they might be like, you know, since we're in the neighborhood, let's stop by and see daddy or whatever. So we'll stop by right quick. They'll see them. We have a good old time. We gone on about our kids. So everything don't have to be no big argument, no, no, no fighting match, no none of that shit. But they ain't yep. there yet. They don't know how to communicate. Because you end up like Dr. Dre right now. You don't. That's for her. No kids. Because their kids are grown. Facts. 300,000 for herself. Boy, like, until she get married again. And she, bitch, she better not ever get married. She ain't never gonna get married because if a nigga not, ain't, if a nigga ain't, ain't guaranteed, nigga gonna tell you. her, nigga, I'm not marrying you. <laughs> if a nigga ain't married, if, if a nigga ain't making Dr. Dre type money, she and ain't doing. Not, she ain't gonna find she ain't that. Why, why she ain't she? gonna find that. Why she got, what is it? What I'm, I'm waiting to get that three million a year off rip, right? He, he, he put her ass through the mud. She get three point five million a year if you add it up. Give it a to year, her, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. No what goes on? Give it to she her. Getting, she getting three million a year, unless you get married or unless in a in a in a real relationship, right? Unless a man come with them twice that much, and they not going to fuck with him. They not. Who got money like that? What, in, in her mind, what the fuck can you really do for me? And ain't no nigga gonna want to marry her because they seen what the fuck she just did to the last one. Hello. <laughs> Yep, that that's it. That's yeah. it. They're gonna be like, oh hell no. Or they're gonna have to come with some seal tape, got some prenup papers, cuz uh-uh. I knew she was trouble when she said her phone bill was like three thousand dollars a month. Right, uh -huh. What the fuck can you be doing for that money? You ain't on no plan. He was calling ET or some shit. She had to be. She had to be. Her phone reached up the heaven. She was doing what? something because I'm sending like three racks. You must got a whole <laughs> business and some shit. Probably got you know, uh, multiple people on yeah. her. She yeah. got the plan. Like, she, that's, that's, she got a real family plan. The, you know, she got people on she her She the entire block. Yes. Everybody had Everybody the was on her account. For they, all they phones. It has to be. Because one phone, you not paying. Facts. No. Facts. The phone. You got the 10 way. lines on that phone. 10. Right. Now, that, that, that kind of money, man. Shit, that's a lot. I ain't doing it, man. I get mad when my phone bill go past two hundred dollars. Who you so, disconnect my phone? Just disconnect it. You call hey, you gonna have to. You can have this bitch bite for three thousand. Fuck that phone. Fuck you. Fuck the phone. Fuck yeah. the service. I don't, I don't want none of it. Facts. That motherfucker better turn to a transformer. Or some it shit, better. Man. But that, that damn that price. That phone better turn into yeah. one of them little short vacuum cleaners that vacuum my house. Fact. I, I, I got that, that bitch, but that, call. that three hundred thousand a month, that cell phone bill go down. I, I bet you that cell phone, phone, phone bill, bill is down definitely going down. down. And I don't know how shit. If I'm Dr. Dre, I gotta appeal this shit. Like yo, uh, this is what I'm saying. Phone. Dre, I just thought about this. Dr. Dre, you get the beats by with Apple. Bitch, you don't pay no $3,000 a month on the phone. You got three <laughs> iPhones for life. You probably got free service. Girl, bye. Fact. A lot. People lie every day, <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. Every day. Every no, day. Thanks. Hey man, I appreciate chopping up with y'all, man. Yeah. I gotta get ready for work and shit, but <laughs> um. <laughs> Thank you for joining oh, us. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know what? And I like to tell people like, yo, this this ain't the, this the first time, but it ain't the last. Because I think I like to think of it like we got the first meeting out the way. Yes. So you no, know, it's 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 gonna be plenty more. But shout out to y'all, man. I felt like I had to get on with y'all. Y'all are dope. I, I I pay attention when I I listen to a lot of podcasts because I work nights. 
So I listen to a lot of different shit, and I just got in tune with y'all, and we locked in just on account of this this conversation right here. So shout out to y'all, man, and thank everything you, that y'all do. Y'all are dope, like I said. So definitely, and who are you over here? We definitely gonna reach out because that's what we do. We like to support and keep networking with people that we believe in, and that's dope. So shout out to y'all. Thank y'all for having me. Um. Thank you for thank y'all for this topic. Thank y'all for this episode. No, thank you for the trash. We enjoyed this. We were constantly listening to y'all as well. I love y'all topics. Y'all yeah. definitely keep me fucking laughing. So yeah, yeah, we'll do this again. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, y'all. All right.